Hello Procrast Creators and welcome back. So today I will be helping out a customer as well as helping out you. Um, I have a customer who would like for me to make um, one of my shirts that I have on Etsy, Etsy Pro at Procrast Creation. Um, she would like for me to make this shirt into an adult size. I sell it right now in a kid size. This little piggy went to the market. Um, so, but I thought this would be a good example for you because this little piggy right here is a print and cut item and it cuts around the item and not just a big square. So we are going to do that today with some of our images. Um, and these are just some of the shirts that I do have on Etsy that uses this print and cut um, pig. The, the pig is actually in Cricut Access. Um, so you have access to that pig if you want to do the same project. So um, before we get started, uh, let's um, go ahead and hit like, subscribe, and, and that hit that bell. Um, and then, of course, leave it. Okay, family, since this is a project that, of course, I've already done, um, I am just going to show you. I've gone into Design Space, and I'm just going to show you um, the file itself. Um, for this project, I had made the pig as well as the words a little bit bigger um, so that I could do it for an adult size shirt. Um, so I duplicated, and I'll just do one. I duplicated the pig. I made it, uh, I enlarged it a little bit um, so that it could be the size that I needed for the shirt. And that, of course, is completely up to you. Um, like I said to you earlier, this uh, pig is in design space. If you go here to images, um i believe it's called a low poly pig let's put in low poly oh and maybe i was wrong let's just put in pig since low poly didn't work i'm pretty sure it's low poly pig so you see all your pigs that come up if you go down a little bit there they are um so and as I just put, didn't put low poly together, so that's why that didn't give me that. Um, but it is a low poly pig, so L O W P O L Y. Um, so you would just insert that. So, and to insert it, you would just click on it. You would just click on it, puts a green box around it, um, and then it also puts it down here. So you would click that insert button I'm not gonna do that because I already have the images in so I am just gonna I just go to text and it always takes me back to the canvas um, so once you have everything you need the size that you need um, my words here people normally ask about this um, if you look over here my words here are a, a um, child's year is the name of the font of the words so um that's pretty much it to that so you would hit make it um and i believe i size these where i can get the alt um um the optimal like optimal optimal that's it <laughs> i can get the optimal um i don't like that word where i could get the best um amount of usage of the paper um here by ha having three on here so i had to play with the size going back and forth from canvas and to make it just so that i could get it to the size where i could get the most on that piece of print and cut piece of paper because like i said and i'll say this a couple of times five sheets come in a pack um that pack is 9.99 at least at michael's the last time i went so it's not something you want to just um you know put one image on and not have everything that you need or have to buy a sheet every time you want to do one image so make the best of your paper all right so here I would leave that just as it is and of course because I have words um, and it's going on a shirt those words would have to be mirrored um, you can move the words around I like to show that every time 
You can move them around. You can turn them depending on the size of your vinyl. If you only have a piece of vinyl that's this way, you can move it up there so that you can get the most out of your vinyl as well. Um, also, if you have these options here, those three dots let you either move to a different mat or hide selection if you decide you don't want to print something right then um, or cut something out right then. So, but I'm just showing you the print and cut piece of this. So as you can see, I'm here, I'm going to hit continue. It's waiting to connect to my machine, which I don't have it connected right now because I've already done this and had to redo this video. So the next step would be to send it to my printer. Um, and I don't know if you noticed, let me X out of this. So you can send it to my printer over here. Now that I've already hit that button, it's gone away, but there's a, I've already printed. So you could print it in advance if you want, but you send to printer um and then you make sure all of your settings are right i like to leave the bleed on on images just so that it can have enough space where it cuts around and not cut into your image and then you would hit print since i already have these printed and done i'm not going to hit print so but that's what you would do it would send it to the printer and then my video will show you the next steps so once you do that you're going to once it prints you're going to put it on your mat and from that from putting it on your mat you will then hit continue on here so that it can then cut it out so um, hopefully that is helpful so my printer is kind of in an awkward little spot I actually have it behind my desk on a shelf so this isn't going to be great quality but um, my papers face down um, as you can see I put that on my printer so I can remember to do that each time so you need to figure out whether your paper needs to be face down or face up um, but as you can see there's our image coming out right now um, look at it they're so cute so that is it goes to any type printer I get this question all the time um, yes you can use an inkjet printer I haven't tried it with a laser jet but this is an inkjet printer um, let me show you okay so I said let me show you that this is a silhouette product as I said before print heatable transfer there's five sheets in here which is why you don't want to waste it by putting one image on if you can use more than one image do that so you don't waste your money um and right now i'm going to go ahead and put this on the mat that's behind here so that it can cut out these images okay so i want you to see here that number one now says print it um and we are on the cutting piece of portion of this so here is my Cricut. Like I said, that light was blinking. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the light. And then again, you will see that it is going to put a light on here after I hit <laughs> the Cricut button. It is going to go ahead and start searching for the image. So that it knows exactly where to cut so that's where that light comes in because um, it's searching for that image so I'm going to go ahead and let it do that I'm not going to show you just it looking from the line so you got to see it okay so the next is just piece part of the the next part of this is just getting really getting this off of the transfer paper that it is on. Um, I don't like to use this tool that much just because I don't want it to poke a hole. Into my pig. Cause that would be bad, right? So as you can see, I'm just slowly pulling this away from, hmm, 
this this lighter paper also seems to be thinner I don't know if I like that look at that hmm that's very disappointing very disappointing I can't see. All right, let's try this again with the smaller one. I've never had this issue. It's like flaking. And I've never had this issue with the dark. But seem to be having it with the light. So I'm going to pull extra slow here just to see if that makes a difference. but very disappointing. Wow. So super slow, super slow, trying to get this to not flake up the way that one just did. I really don't like that at all. Yikes, look at that. Huh. I don't know why I just saw the shirt, but here it is again. It's so cute. Look, um, but I also wanted to just make you aware. So normally I buy, even when it's a white shirt, I buy the silhouette, um, heat printable heat transfer dark. Um, but this time, because I was doing a white shirt, I thought, well, let me go ahead and try the light. This is the same package, except it has a blue dot here. Look at this. I will never, never buy the light again. Um, I did contact Silhouette through um, Twitter, and they are going to fix it for me. Um, I don't know what that means yet, but look at, look at, look at. <sighs> Look at how it peeled. I was very, very disappointed in um, how this came out. So I just thought I would show you that. But like I said, they are going to fix it. I have never had a problem with the dark. Um, but unfortunately, this time I did have a problem with the light, which put all my stuff off by a day, which is why you see me with <laughs> a different hair, different face whatever um so anyways i hope you enjoyed this video thank you thank you thank you for watching please like subscribe hit that bell and i'll see you all the next time